four more days and we have an opportunity to save our state. We want safe streets, right? We have to go out and fight for safe streets. We want to fight for the quality of education for our kids, right? Well, we have an opportunity to go out and get it in four days. The American dream is one that's filled with eternal hope and optimism. But in order for our American dream to be a New York dream, it requires us to be able to walk our streets, to ride our subways, knowing that the streets and the subways belong to you, the law-abiding New Yorker. It doesn't belong to the criminal. We do this for our children. Our children's education has been under attack by people who want to get rid of advanced academics in the name of equity, under attack by people who want to get rid of merit-based entry into specialty schools. For my daughters, because I have an Asian American family, if they were to check a box for being Asian American to think that they would be denied an opportunity that they are otherwise qualified for because they're Asian is as un-American as it gets. We need to make sure that we protect your son and daughter's education yes. up in Albany and here in New York City. Yeah. There are people in our lives struggling between whether or not to be able to heat their homes or feed their families. Life in New York is getting more expensive. It's harder to be a small business owner. Attacks on freedoms by people in government. I want all of you to have a government that you can be proud of again. A government, when you elect a governor, has someone who understands that public service is about serving the people, not being served by the people. It's important for all of you to have a government where you know that when you are exchanging freedoms with government, they're only going in one direction, and that's government giving you more freedom. Government giving you your freedoms back. That is what you are fighting for. Safe streets, a more affordable quality of life for our kids and for our future. The Asian American community came out really strong for Curtis Sliwa last year. And I've spoken to Curtis about it. He is so grateful. I can speak for myself and tell you that I am so grateful for all of your support all throughout this entire campaign. It's been a long journey. Over 18 months, many dozens of events together in Flushing, in Sunset Park, in Chinatown. Through this journey, you've had members of your own community pushed in front of an oncoming subway car and murdered, stabbed to death in her apartment in Lower Manhattan, beaten to death on the streets with a hammer. There is raw, violent hate, and you deserve action on day one. Yeah. That means as soon as I am sworn into office, it is my pledge and it is my duty that the first action, the first day, is telling the Manhattan District Attorney, Alvin Bragg, that he's being fired. Yeah! 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 There was a, a terrible tragedy that happened yesterday in Manhattan at Pier 45. A woman was going out for a run early in the morning. And she was attacked, and choked, and assaulted, and raped. When I was there this morning, 
to talk about how important